This animation displays air traffic over the United States. It was created using real air traffic data from the Federal Aviation Administration. The animation starts at 8 p.m. and ends at 8 p.m. Eastern Time the following day. Late in the evening, a rush of flights can be seen departing for European destinations. Quite a few aircraft are still seen flying between the West Coast airports. In the middle of the night, the skies are clear and the number of aircraft drops below 900. Notice the red-eye transcontinental flights headed to the East Coast. Around 5 a.m., flights are seen departing from Memphis, a hub for FedEx. As the day dawns, traffic starts to build up on the East Coast. At 8 a.m., half of the country is bubbling with traffic while the other half is still sleeping. Flights are seen moving westward and the airspace gets populated with aircraft across the country as the day progresses. Around 11 a.m., a steady stream of arrivals is seen coming across the Atlantic Ocean. The various airline hubs can be seen throughout the day. A hub can be identified by the density of aircraft around it. The two holes seen in the triangle between San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Salt Lake City are military operation areas and civilian aircraft are forbidden to fly through them. In the middle of the day, the number of aircraft peak just over 5,000. The animation shows the congested northeastern part of the United States and the complexity of the air traffic management problem. This animation displays air traffic and weather over the northeastern part of the United States. In the beginning, the flow is smooth, but when severe weather strikes around 9.30 a.m., the airports can't handle the arrivals. Many aircraft are seen holding in the air, shown by the racetrack patterns of blue lines which represent trails of aircraft arriving at four New York area airports. Several aircraft are seen deviating around severe weather and flying through gaps between storm systems. Many aircraft, usually flying along the East Coast, were directed to fly over the Atlantic Ocean to reach their New York area destinations. On this day of significant delays, weather impacted arrival traffic for more than seven hours. Weather is the main cause of all delays of air traffic in the United States.